Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. Happy New Year! We are officially entering 2022. So before we dive into the energies for 2022, for the collective and for each life path number, this is just a reminder that this is a great time for you to order your own personal year ahead numerology forecast. I will leave the link in the description box below if that's something that you're interested in, but it's a great resource to see what the upcoming energies may hold for you. So as we wave goodbye to the Universal 5 energy that had us shifting gears and changing directions so much that our worlds were often spinning all over the place, we now step into the more nurturing, domestic, and community-centered energy of the 6. 2022 is a six universal energy. So this cycle, this energy is going to ask us to take into consideration the greater community and the good of all as we make our decisions and choose our actions. This is not an energy solely focused on self. The energy of 2020 sort of broke the foundations and forced us to be more isolated and reflective. The energies of 2021 were more about exploration and authenticity while building our personal worlds in a way that sort of is much more open-minded and adaptable to change. Now, 2022 is asking us to broaden our scope as we rebuild the world we want to experience while taking the collective into consideration. So what does this new world, you know, that we're emerging into need that benefits more than just ourselves, but rather is inclusive of the needs of Mother Earth and all of her inhabitants? This is a cycle where divisiveness will no longer work. People are tired of the separation and the energy is incredibly supportive for people to wake up and fully choose to build the bridges necessary to begin reuniting with friends, family, community, and the greater world at large. Regardless of how many people there are that still choose to cling to the old ways and who attempt to keep burning down those bridges, more and more people are going to sort of feel the need or the compulsion or the urge to move into a higher octave now and release the burdens of separation and chaos. There will always be polarities. We live in a world and a universe of polarities. However, for evolution to occur, we cannot remain in one extreme very long. The pendulum will always swing. And so on a more personal level, collectively, we will be seeing the influences of the six with an emphasis on home, life, relationships, and creativity. So again, we'll see that collectively, but also individually. So this can be a cycle when many changes take place within your home environment. Perhaps you change residence. Maybe people move in or out of your home at this time. You may do some remodeling. You may see changes within your physical home, your body. This can, take, this can be a time when you undergo some major physical transformations, body, mind, and spirit. Creativity, you may see new inspirations come in this year that allow you to express yourself like never before and that ignite the fire within, bringing a renewed sense of balance, joy, and excitement into the world and the world around you. So what inspires you? Do more of that. (laughs) Allow that flame to ignite and carry you places and inner depths that you never imagined yourself going to. Embrace your inner child and allow them to lead you uninhibited towards the unbridled joy. This is a year to absolutely say yes to what makes you happy without shame, without feeling the need to apologize for that happiness, even if others don't understand or even if they're shocked by your choices. Happiness and inspiration are contagious, so don't restrict how much of it you create for yourself, allow you know within your life, and how much of that you share. This is an energy 
where we can see more people needing our help, our services, and our support at this time. You may see people coming out of the woodwork needing you at this time. Friends, family, loved ones, community members, clients, and so on. If we're capable of offering that support, then we will benefit from that circulation of energy. However, if we are not in the space physically, mentally, or spiritually to be able to meet those needs, then we must know when to set healthy boundaries and say no. This is very important because under the sixth energy, it can be very it can be very easy to sort of fall into martyrdom, um, which can lead to resentment, anger, frustration, and we sort of fall into a lower vibration then. This can be an energy where it's like you almost feel the urge to help people uh, sort of to an extreme, if that makes sense. It's like where you're, you're sacrificing yourself for another to be happy, um, which, you know, that just doesn't work in the long run. That's not sustainable. And so just be mindful of that. And make sure that you're keeping your equilibrium and your balance and that you are first checking in with self to make sure that your cup is full before you are able to sort of meet those requirements or, the, or those needs of others. There's no shame in that. And it's actually recommended so that you, you know, again, so it's a more sustainable energy. If we get to the point where we are feeling taken advantage of, we need to understand that there came a point where we should have said no. When we choose to say yes to things that we are not capable of supplying or you know meeting the, the requirements or the needs of, then we, we are self-sabotaging ourselves and sort of sabotaging the other person as well, whether we mean to or not. And so again, it's really, really important to make sure that we are setting those healthy boundaries, saying yes when we're capable of saying yes, saying no when we are not capable of saying yes. So if you see yourself starting to fall into those lower vibrations when it comes to offering or sharing your time, your energy, and your resources with others, please realize your cup is no longer full and it's time to replenish you before you step back into that role. And if somebody doesn't understand your need for self-care, then chances are they were only interested in your endless availability and accommodations. And perhaps it's a connection that's no longer serving you and it's time for that relationship to expire or to create some distance for the time being while you rejuvenate yourself. So overall, the sixth cycle of 2022 can be incredibly beautiful, loving, rewarding, and a very creative period. This is such lovely, softer, nurturing energy from the last couple of years. But as always, in order to get the most out of this cycle, we must continue to maintain our own peace and harmony even when that means having those difficult conversations to set those necessary healthy boundaries. So, okay, let's take a look now at the overall upcoming energy for your particular life path number. Life path number nine. So I pulled an animal spirit card for you all and you got dog spirit. And dog's message to you for 2022 is your loyalty and faithfulness are misplaced by serving too many masters. And so what's interesting about this is I can actually see this reflected in the energy for 2022 for you all, that your energy is sort of scattered and you need to rein it back in. It's almost like what I really get, of course, is like that people pleasing energy where you're trying to do so much for so many people that you're you're just really um, scattered. Your, your energy is just like paper thin at this point. And so you really need to be able to rein that in, which I find really, really interesting because that is such sort of one of the, the sort of lessons of this six universal energy that we're all facing in 2022 is to set the healthy boundaries, to not say yes to everything and everyone simply because you want to help or you want to do good or you want to be that martyr, right? This is gonna be a year for you all, nines, where you need to rein it in. You need to really take a close look at where do you need more structure? Where do you need healthy boundaries? Where do you need to start saying no to people? 
if you are the doormat, if you're becoming the doormat for people. And I say this because um, with nine energy, you know, you all are the humanitarians. So it's sort of in your nature to to want to do good, to want to help people, to help, want to help lift people up from the gutters and empower them and all those things. But we have to remember that ultimately people need to do that for themselves. We are resources for that. And we can't spread ourselves too thin or we're not a good resource. You see what I'm saying? And so it's almost like there's, you're just spreading yourself too thin. And 2022 is going to, the energy is going to be there to assist you to start setting those boundaries, to no longer be that doormat, to make a conscious effort to check in with yourself first before saying yes, to see, am I capable of doing this body, mind, spirit? And if you're not, then you say no and you set that healthy boundary. So that's kind of the overall message is to take a closer look at where it is that you're sort of spreading yourself too thin, where you're saying yes when you should maybe be saying no because you're not fully capable of offering those resources at this time. I think this year is going to help you to see where you might be doing that and then it's up to you to make the changes necessary. And there's no shame in that, right? There's no shame in saying no if you're not capable of showing up in a you know, where your cup is full. Okay. So like I said, I can really see this coming through in the energy for the year. I broke 2022 down into four quarters. So we'll take a look. So the very first quarter that is coming in, there is this call for a shift in perspective. And again, I feel like this is going to be one of those situations where you need to take a closer look at how you are participating in relationships, how you are again, expending your energy, how you are, you know, what you're saying yes to, what you're saying no to. And, you know, I don't have any doubt that when you show up to a situation, you're doing so with um, the idea of helping others in mind, right? Like nine energy is just, that's such a big part of your core, right? Where nines get into trouble again is where they just overextend themselves to the point where they're just, people get used to you always saying yes and you always being there and always trying to assist or make it right. And all that does is, again, you end up spreading yourself too thin and you end up burning yourself out and then you become resentful or angry or frustrated because you're you're being taken advantage of. But like I said in the intro, there comes a point in every experience where we have to say yes or no to somebody. And when we say yes, we should be saying yes because we are prepared to meet that obligation, to meet that commitment. If we say yes and we're not able to do that and then we become resentful of that person because they are quote unquote taking advantage of us, ultimately we gave them the green light to do so. You see what I'm saying? And so I feel like there's going to be opportunities for you at the beginning of the the year to really take a closer look at those relationships, those experiences where you're doing that, where you are saying yes, when you know you should be saying no, and it just leads to resentment or frustration or anger. There is no martyrdom here. You see what I'm saying? Like when we become the martyr, then there's nothing good happens for either party involved. So I think that the first quarter is really going to offer you some insight into where it is that you can sort of rein that in a little bit. And, you know, where you might have to have some of the difficult conversations with loved ones, with family, with partners, um, with colleagues, whatever the case may be, you know, with your job, you know, like nines can sometimes get into that space where they want to do the right thing. And so they sort of excel in certain areas and then their bosses take advantage of them because, oh, so-and-so is going to do an excellent job, so we'll let so-and-so do it, and your stuff starts piling up. So you have to have that that sort of, um, you need to look out for yourself in a sense and know when to say no, know when to say enough is enough. And I feel like you're going to have opportunities to do that at the beginning of the year to show you not only that you're capable of saying no and setting those healthy boundaries and that the world is not going to end, but that also to show you, you know, where your limitations are, because 
though, you know, the spirit can do, you know, is eternal and can do whatever, in our physical bodies, we have limitations. And so we have to be mindful of that. We need to take that into consideration. So I think this is going to be an interesting uh first quarter for you all, but a good one, one that's going to enlighten you to, again, what you are capable of, what your limitations are, and how to have those conversations without um, feeling so bad about it or shaming yourself for it. The second quarter, you know, sort of along the same lines, I really see this energy of like, there's this level of chaos and so this can be a chaos around your finances, chaos around relationships, chaos around how you are showing up to situations, inner chaos, how you feel about a situation. And really what I'm getting here is that you need to create structure. You need to create the structure within your own life. There is chaos that's happening around you, but I also see inner chaos here. So you need to take a closer look at this and see how can I rein this in? How can I focus my energy in a much more streamlined way to where I'm not spreading myself so thin? This is such a big energy for you all this year to really sort of get this under lock and key to where you, because here's the thing, like if you can get to a point where you are able to really focus your energy and, and say yes to the things that you actually want to say yes to and no to the things that you don't want to commit to, you're going to you're going to find so much empowerment in that and it's going to affect literally every area of your life. So this is really about you standing up for yourself, you really recognizing what you deserve, your worth. So if you're in a relationship that is very chaotic, that is constantly demanding from you and you're not seeing a return of that investment, then that relationship needs to go. That relation, or it needs some very structured boundaries that you need to lay those boundaries. And so I feel like this is going to be an opportunity. Same thing with finances. If your finances are out of control, if you are, you know, there's just chaos there, you need to get structure within those, those, those finances because otherwise money is going to come into you and it's just going to flow right back out. So there's needs to be a level of structure here where it's not just like this, this flowing stream that just never sort of stops at you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's like it comes in and it goes out and it comes in and it goes out. And you can be seeing this with relationships as well. But anywhere that, the, that you are feeling personal chaos is an invitation to find your structure, to create structure around whatever that is. And yes, things are going to fall away because of that. But those things need to fall away because they're contributing to the chaos. So again, that's not in indication of personal failure that's simply saying you were contributing and participating in something that wasn't healthy for you and it needed to fall away and you standing in your power and setting those boundaries sort of forced it to fall away because it needed to you see what i'm saying those things that are meant for us will find us and stay with us those things that are not meant for us will find a way out right we'll find an outlet to release from us and we need to let them go so definitely first and second quarter of the year, I'm seeing much around you finding your own voice, your own power to really create structure within your life where there's been previously chaos or where you have just been committing, over committing to too many people, too many things. Um, so this is an opportunity to really get yourself aligned with your nine energy because even though that at your core, is that energy of the humanitarian and wanting to do for others. There's also, you can't do that to your highest capacity if you are spread too thin. So you need to find your, ba your balance, your equilibrium. And I think 2022 is going to give you plenty of opportunities to do that. Then we move into the third quarter and I see actually some very quick energy coming in here around your finances. And this is really like, this is actually going to be setting you up quite nicely if again, you can manage whatever comes in. So it's very much around like money, resources, that sort of thing. It could be an inheritance, it could be a new job, it could be, you know, could be endless ways that this money could come into you, but it feels like money, resources, building some kind of like a trust fund or a legacy for your family. Um, but again, you need to make sure that you're able to manage those resources when they do come in and that they don't just flow from you. You see what I'm saying? 
So um, something very, some kind of communication coming in around finances that could be beneficial for you, something actual, you know, this could be, this is kind of energy where it's like you play the lottery on a win, on a whim and you win the lottery. But where it's important to remember is that there's people that that happens to and then they aren't, they mismanage that, those, you know, that newfound wealth and then they're right back where they started. So there's also this level of responsibility coming in that whatever this is around resources that comes in for you, you need to make sure that you're able to manage it in a way, not getting to, not falling into deprivation mode, not falling into this lack mentality or hoarding the money or what resources, but getting to a healthy space where you're able to still circulate that energy, but not fall to an extreme to where it's just slipping through your fingers again. So a lot coming in around resources, money, physical sort of things, definitely feels around money um, or resources. Um, so yeah, and coming in very quickly, very quick energy, abrupt energy. Uh, let's see. The fourth quarter, this is interesting because I feel like there's some kind of big decision that needs to be made for you here, uh, or you need to make here. But there's this level of self-sabotage coming in where it's kind of like, it's a big decision. It's something where you're not gonna have all of the details up front. So you need to really go within, follow your intuition, really feel into this. And, but not to the point where you self-sabotage yourself because you feel like you're not worthy of this. This is going to be really, really important. This feels like one of those things where it's like you want to spread your wings and fly, but you are confining yourself for some reason. So again, self-sabotage is coming in really, really quickly. So when it comes to, or coming in quite strongly. So if it comes to some kind of decision here that needs to be made, make sure that you are not letting the, the sort of, the old thoughts, the old beliefs get in the way of you achieving whatever this is. Are you saying yes to whatever this is because of fear or doubt or fear of lack or whatever the case may be? Also, this can be one of those things where it's like you have, may have a decision to make around a relationship or like a career or something like that where in the past you have allowed yourself to be taken advantage of, but now you're standing into your power and you're saying no more. You're standing up for yourself and saying, this is what I need. You can either come to the table and meet me with this, or I need to take myself elsewhere. So there's also that energy coming in as well. So big decision coming in at the end of the year, but I feel like this, this entire year is sort of preparing you to make this big decision, to feel ready to be able to make it and stand in your power and not feel guilt or shame around it for standing up for yourself and whatever this is. So... Big energy coming in for you all, nines, um, but really empowering energy. I love to see this for nines because, again, not that you're, you know, not a powerful person and not that you're not already empowered, but I just know the, the big heart, <laughs> this sort of is innate with nines. It's like you just show up in that humanitarian spirit and you want to do good. You want to help others. You want to see other people succeed and all of that. And it can really run you ragged. And so this is an energy that's just really letting you stand up for yourself in a big way to where that is going to have an impact on every area of your life in a positive way. When you can get to that point where you can have those difficult conversations and, you know, cut people off that need to be cut off from that, you know, sort of never-ending well of giving that you're used to doing, if that's some something that you're used to doing, right? And start to be a little bit more discriminatory when it comes to how you share your resources, your energy, your your yourself with others, not into the point where you cut yourself off from others. Obviously, that's not going to be possible for you as a nine, but you know what I'm trying to say here. So as Dog would say, you know, First, you serve you, and then you choose who you want to serve. You choose who you want to share your life with, your energy with, your resources with. And you do that from a place of graciousness and with an open heart, not from a place of martyrdom or obligation, because that's only going to lead to frustration and resentment. 
So very empowering energy for you all for 2022. I love to see this for nines. If you would like a personalized reading to look to see how 2022 is gearing up for you personally based off your personal numerology chart, book some time with me. I'd love to do your year ahead forecast for you and get that in your hands so that you can see how you can work with your own energy. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you all so much for listening. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.